welcome back on Inside Baylor Sports. After the game Wednesday night here in the Farrell Center against A&M, the men hit the road, headed to Norman to take on the OU Sooners. The Bears head north on I-35 to Norman in search of their first sweep of the Sooners since the 54-55 season and for their ninth win in conference play. Baylor comes out of the gate sluggish from the get-go. Oklahoma attacks Baylor's defense inside, outscoring the Bears 25-14 in the paint in the first half. The Sooners go on a 9-0 run, opening up a 19-9 lead until the green and gold wake up. Tweedy gives to Epe again. Epe will drive on Gallon around him. Reverse layup, good. Back-to-back -back baskets by Epe Udo. Down 23 to 19, Baylor heats up from beyond the arc. AC to Dunn, open three, right wing is good. One. Second made three today. Dunn goes on to hit four trays en route to scoring 16 of his team high 21 points in the first half alone. Tweedy Carter to Dunn on the right wing. Dunn's firing another three. Oh, oh this one's man. good. Lace is on fire. He's got 16, and the Bears lead 30 to 27. I knew I had to uh, contribute some to the team. You know, at the first couple of minutes, I was just out there, you know, but I knew uh, once it got tight, I knew I had to come out and uh, contribute to the team, so I think I did a great job of just taking shots, but most important, making them. With the first half winding down, the Bears finish strong off the play of Oklahoma native Epe Udo. Udo makes two back-to-back -back strong moves to the basket, giving the Bears a 36-33 lead as BU heads into the break up 36-35. Anthony Jones. Jones has it right side to Lace Dunn. Dunn, Davis on him, gives to Udo. Udo underneath, shot up and in, and he's fouled. I wanted to win back in my city, you know, my, my hometown. You know, last week, you know, I kind of pushed it a little bit, but this week I just stayed patient and stayed positive, you know, it worked out for the best. Great kid, great leader, he's done so many things for our program this year, but I really personally want him to play well because I know Oklahoma State, he was disappointed playing with so many family and friends and not playing well and to have an opportunity to do the same thing now, closer to home and uh, uh, do well. We're all happy for him. The Edmund Oklahoma native shines in the spotlight, scoring 20 points on the day and tallying seven blocks, shattering the Big 12 shot block record for a single season. That is a Big 12 conference record for Epe Udo. At the beginning of the season, I didn't, I didn't know what you know any of the records were, but now that I got you know, I give thanks to my teammates for always staying down and let me blocking it up top, but it was great. Tweedy Carter was held scoreless until the second half, and the senior hits a couple of clutch threes. Three is in. Big one by Tweedy Carter. Oh, it's a huge shot. Carter finishes with 10 points on the day as Baylor clings to a 55-53 lead. Knotted up at 57 all, Cool has ice in his veins. Dunn up with a three, it's good from the left corner on the inbounds play. Dunn's three gives Baylor a 60-57 lead. A lead the Bears would not squander as Quincy Acey provides a lift off the bench with his jam, extending the Bears lead. The Sooners run out of gas at the end as Baylor prevails 70-63 in Norman the first time the Bears have won at the Lloyd Noble Center since 1977. We took a, a, a good shot from Oklahoma. They played extremely well. And we didn't play our best game, but we battled back and we, we made plays down the stretch. Great leadership. And at the end of the day, our defense won us the game.